So what you can see on the screen at the moment is a collaborative Google document that I've set up. And you can see down the side in the slide sorter, we have team one, team two, team three, team four, and team five. Uh, so what I do in the running of the class is when we are about to go into our breakout rooms, I will share a link to this Google document so that all of the students can access it simultaneously. And each group will go into their respective breakout rooms and discuss the topic together while they co-write their solution. Up here on the top right, you can see the little share icon. And if I click this link, I can change this setting to editor. And now when I copy this link, if I paste it into the chat box in my Zoom classroom or whatever classroom management system you're using, uh, the students can all access this simultaneously with editing permission. To give you an example of what this might look like in a, a more real scenario, here is our week one question, what is language? In the most ambitious version of this task, uh, our students worked together to craft a full conference proceedings based on the work that they had done in their student projects. The class is actually running now and all of my students are in breakout rooms and groups of students are co-writing the introductions live in class. So here's an example of a group who are writing about the language of space and time. They have a mini introduction and then each student in the class has described their own study. The second part of the challenge is to rewrite the introduction in the informal variety of Singaporean English. And we can see students working together in groups. Uh, we can see that there are three students in here who are writing together. We've got three people typing simultaneously. And one of their teammates is back on the formal version of the write-up. Uh, and you can see them jumping backwards and forwards as they compare. In this room, we have four different uh, people collaborating together on writing the informal variety of the introduction. And to give just one more example, we have another group here who <laughs> are also writing the informal version of their introduction. And you can see that down in the notes section, <laughs> they have left a comment for each other in surprise at the task. Uh, hopefully this has given you an idea of the way that collaborative documents can work in the flow of a class. Uh, and perhaps you'll think about using it in your classrooms as well.